Welcome back. Julian Assange just appeared via video link at the WikiLeaks 10 year anniversary conference in Berlin. That is where a major announcement had been expected. Joining us now from London, NBC News foreign correspondent Lucy Kafanoff. Okay, Lucy, timing expectations here. These reports of another massive document dump. Did it happen yet? Hey Alex, well there were rumors of another data dump and many of us dutifully tuned in and were instead treated to a rather long and rambling speech that touched on everything from the philosophy of Voltaire to advertisements about a 40% discount of Julian Assange's book. But look, the main takeaway here is that WikiLeaks will be publishing what Assange described as quote, significant information before the end of the year involving, he says, three governments and the U.S. election. No immediate release today. That's speculation about a so-called October surprise largely came from right-wing media as well as Trump supporters, including Roger Stone, who tweeted this week that the new revelations would destroy Clinton's campaign. And of course, the documents released by WikiLeaks over the summer were damaging to the Democrats. But Assange today bristled at the notion that he was somehow trying to hurt Clinton's campaign. He said there will be election-related documents released before November 8th, did not reveal any details, and claimed to have been misquoted in the past, saying that neither he nor WikiLeaks WikiLeaks set out to go after Clinton. He was asked if he had any personal affinity for Donald Trump, but sort of dodged the question, saying that he had affinity for all humans and that he felt sorry for both Trump and Clinton because he says they were tormented by their ambition. So that's the gist of it. It looks like we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for those documents to well, be yeah. released. In Alex. addition, I mean, Roger Stone did say something could happen Wednesday, so uh, we wait. Lucy Kafanoff, thank you so much for that.